When you woke up this morning, did you just roll out of bed and get ready for school and then leave? Or did you get out of bed, t um, take a minute, tidy up your covers and pillows, and then get ready for the day? Well, 70% um, of Americans actually make their bed in the morning. And in the West and Midwest, it is less likely for them to make their bed than those on the East Coast who take this as a daily task. This morning, I'm going to go over the materials needed for making a bed, how to make your bed, and even the benefits it has to offer for people. <clears throat> First, I'm going to start with the materials that are needed. First, you're going to need a fitted sheet in which this is the part where you jump on the bed with all four and you try to get all four corners on at the same time. It doesn't work. Then you need the fitted sheet, which is just a flat liner sheet that you just put over over the fitted sheet. I don't like them because I end up kicking them off or they just get jumbled on the corner. Next, I like to do the pillows. My preference is around four to five, so just make sure the amount of pillows you have, you have just the bat, that of pillowcases. Next, I like the comforter, and this gives you an extra sense of comfort in which you can pick any style or any look. Now, let's jump in on how to make one. First, you just want to start with a clean slate, which is the fitted sheet. And I like to smooth out all the corners and just make sure um, the, like, the scrunched up sides are in the right placement in which the, it'll almost hug the end of the beds. Next, you want to make the pillows. And I will actually show you a way to make a pillow that many nursing homes and medical rooms use. Okay. So you're gonna to wanna to start with just like a clean pillow. And um, I have a lot in four to five, so this takes me a little longer, but in this case, we'll just have one. Okay, I'll put this down. So when you have it, you just kinda of wanna stick your whole hand like in it and grab the middle area. From there, you grab your opposite hand and you grab it in the middle. And you just kind of shake it to where you see your hand. And then I like to grab where it has like the tags, because then I don't have it hanging out at the end. And you just grab the middle, and you can't let go until the ending. And so you just kind of put the corners with the corner, and you just kind of shimmy it down. All the way. In which this case, it's a little faster than trying to shimmy and shake it all the way down. And this is good for healthcare workers because it's away from their body and it won't create any bacteria or like spread diseases. <clears throat> After you get all the pillows in the right area that you want, you like I like to add the comforter. And so then I just take the comforter and I pull it on over my pillows and make it all smooth and nice. Then I like to add any throw blankets or extra pillows. In this case, I put one on the end of my bed. And then at the end, I have all my blankets, and I have any pillows, I have stuffed animals, and any extra blankets. Okay. Now let's get into the health benefits that making your bed has to offer. Some people think that making your bed is something that you don't need to do because you end up going back in it at night. Or even some people think that, oh, this is just a chore, or this is what my parents want me to do, when really it is something for your mental health. It gives you a sense of calming and relaxation. It even offers your sense of style and lets you express yourself with all the colors, blankets, pillows, etc. <clears throat> It is also a good idea to make your bed every so often because the average person sweats 26 gallons a year in which to be dirtier than chimpanzees. The average person in order to have a in order to make a habit it takes 66 days in which a little over 2 months you can make your bed and it'll become almost nothing as a second thought. Now to recap, I went over the materials needed to make a bed, how to make your bed each morning, and even the benefits it has to offer.
Now, when you wake up in the morning, I want you to make your bed. This allows you to have a sense of relief and even just a little something that you did that day that's already done. Thank you.